What's up again, viewers? Thank you for tuning in to another Shock and Toy Reviews. Two idiots, one camera, and a review. I am Wilson. Sitting to my right is the bearded god of thunder. Mr. Burke. And to my left... Toast. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, you, I was waiting for you to say your fucking name. So and then I said, yummy, yummy, yummy. I, I was waiting for more of an intro. <laughs> okay, well, you get yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. Toast. Yep. And we're taking a look at a third-party transformer. It's this guy. <laughs> Alcade? Alcade. It seems. We're going to go with Alcade from Iron Factory. It's either Helix or Helix, depending on how you want to say it. It's spelled H-E-L-E-X. So we're going with Helix from now on. So when I say Helix, just know that it's me getting used to saying Helix because I called him Helix for so fucking long. Wow. Here he is in his something mode it's supposed to be a Steady tank mode. <laughs> it's, a, it's a laying down mode it yes it's his God. it's his tank uh, his hands yes yep you can tell it's a tank because there are treads here <laughs> and there are treads here Maybe other than a garbage that, depot and he's got spikies here and some guns here and yeah, I guess it's supposed to be a tank. It literally looks like he basically tucked his head into his body, fell forward, and started driving around. Yep, that's what it looks like. Uh, the, it's a very poor alt mode. If we're looking at the paint and everything on this guy, I really dig it. I love the contrast between the shades of blue that they have. So you got some dark blues here and light blues here. And the pinks that go with it work really well. Pink really pops. It, it really does. And you got a little bit of yellow plastic there. Some of the silver here for the, the joints. Also some silver up here. It doesn't look good as a tank, but the paint and everything, the colors look good. I'll, I'll agree. It looks very little like the Oxmaline design well i think the iron factory problem is they made it a combiner oh uh, yes yeah, spoilers i'm gonna say this now we will not be changing him into his combination mode i just don't like doing that because i don't find it worthwhile unless you have all of them combined it's a very mgo thing of you to say really oh. in that case we'll be looking at him <laughs> in combined mode after i figure out how to change him into uh combined mode but no we won't be this is the way i'm gonna have him not not this way no, but I'm saying I'm not going to have them combined. I refuse to believe that you transformed it. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> I, I saw you doing dude, it. Dude, I'm not I, fucking around so. with you. That is literally how it looks in the instructions. And you looked it up too online, right? It looks right. Yeah. Well, and their hands, they put the hands differently. In the instructions, I believe they have the hands going like this, which to me looks even more ridiculous. If it's wrong, feel free to yell at me. Feel free. I triple dog dare you. So you can get a sense of scale for vehicle mode. Here we have a uh, Power of the Primes Legend. That's a beachcomber. And this is Siege. I'm going with Bront. I kind of forget his name, but it's not his usual alt mode. I've done something different. He's uh, supposed to be a deluxe. And then behind them we have, for some reason, RC and bot mode. That is the MMC Ocular Max Perfection Series, correct? Yes. Azalea. Right. Mm, the good one. Okay, so now we have him in a little bit better mode, his bot mode. And he's a big, big boy. Relatively. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously this is more your legend scale guy, but he is a beefy hulking guy. He is the second largest of the DJD, the first largest being Tesaurus. So there's, I guess, a lot more to see here, more going on, more interesting stuff. The pinks and everything you can still see. You can see the treads have been tucked in nicely into his chest. He's not standing up. And he's got his second pair of hands, which... Is very unique to this character. I like it. I think each DJD guy kind of has one thing that really makes them unique. And for this guy, it's his second set of small arms. The reason he has that is from the comics, this piece here, his chest, is a miniature smelting pool. So what he does is he grabs guys either with his big arms or even the little ones, but then he uses the little ones to put them in his chest and basically melt other Transformers and torture them. He also uses it sometimes to he'll hold them while he grabs them with this and pull their limbs off. I like the character a lot. I think this 
is a lot more accurate to the source material than his alt, alt mode was. Yep. And I I really like the look of his chest with it's like a blue translucent plastic and it's got a nice spot for a Decepticon symbol to go right there. Looking at his face, uh, he's got the great detail of, I really like these red lines coming down from his eyes. Very cool. And he's got some of the yellows and then yellows here and these little horns and bot pieces on the side. And the spikes you can see better. And they're painted a nice silver as well. So nice little attention to detail. These small red marks too are painted extremely well. There's no smudging or anything that I can see. And if there is, please don't ruin it for me. Just say, <laughs> I can see a flaw, and let that be that. I have not seen a flaw on his face. Mr. Toast, do you have anything you would like to add? No. I mean, I, I think this is only the second Iron Factory that I've looked at, and he he's really impressive. And this guy was never a, a major no. character to me, but he looks accurate from memory. Let's uh, <laughs> go on and move on to moving. Head is on a ball joint that can move left, right, sort of up and down, but it's constricted by the piece in the back and some of these sides a little bit. Where he really shines is in his arms. The only problem is sometimes pulling them out will get pulled this out of the tab, which is part of transformation. But he can get it, get them stretched out a good ways and even farther because because that piece there can lift up and so he can get it out farther. Bicep swivel, elbow, great twisty wrist, swivel wrist. Swi swivel wrist. Fingers are on ball joints connected here, here, and here, which allow the fingers to spread out a little bit, which I always like. It gives it a little yeah, more. A lot of expressiveness. They also bend at the knuckles like that. He's only got three fingers. These arms here are very articulated. They're on ball joints all over the place. So ball joint there, ball joint there, and like a hinge there. So they can get really just all kinds of poses. Any pose you need to tear apart and hurt other robots. He's got a waist now. He does have a giant backpack that sort of gets in, in the way. I mean, you can easily move it out and you can get them a full 360. But if you're like me and maybe you just don't want it on, this backpack comes off because it is also used as part of the combiner. This whole thing comes apart, so like that'll split and then these two pieces split. I tried getting it on him as some kind of shield, I just couldn't. But he looks fine without it. I kind of prefer him without it. Yeah, I kind of do too. His legs, he can do full splits. Front, back, it's got full 90 degree uh, knee bend and great feet articulation with rockers and toes. And he's got uh, this piece back here works as a heel spur. He's a giant big forearm monkey. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and he stands great. I haven't yet to have him fall over. <laughs> All he comes with is extra different sets of hands for his tiny, tiny arms. He's got open splayed hands for the grabby grabby. He's got closed fists for the punchy punchy. And then an open fist for the holdy holdy. In case you feel like giving him a gun, it's a five millimeter peg. You can either give him a gun or you can give him a five millimeter peg uh, appendage of one of your other transformers. But he does not come with any weapons of his own. There you go. Uh, as Berg likes to point out, he never used one in the comics. I still, well, he might have used it off camera. Off panel, yeah, you never know. Um, I would have still liked to have seen them attempt to get something like this as a shield or something because, I mean, yeah, it can sit on his back, but it would be, it'd be a nice, cooler feature. Size comparison, someone else talk. Here he is with a bunch of other guys that he's scaled to. Looks great. He's a little small compared to a legend scaled speechcomber. Yeah, official, yeah, official. Official Hasbro Legends size. So he, he looks great next to his other Iron Factory buddies. And there he is. Passing the one foot test, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I would have been surprised if he couldn't. Yeah. Right. 
I will go first. Okay, I was going to, but that's fine. Fine, you go first. I'm going first. I am giving this guy straight up four out of five hammers. I'm doing that because even though his alt mode... Why are you doing that with your fucking head other than to annoy me? I was playing with him. No, you weren't. <laughs> that is know. such bullshit. What? What are you even looking because at me Because you for? know when I talk, I move my head side to side like this. You do? You no. do? <laughs> <laughs> why is everything happy about you? Because I'm the Jesus. most important person there is to me. No, he gets four out of five because even though his alt mode sucks, I love the bot mode so much and he's highly poseable even for a toy this big in this scale. Like he's got some big appendages, but they move and there's no pose that I've yet to be able to get him in that I've wanted to. The fact that he's a combiner is pretty much the reason that his alt mode, I would guess, sucks because he comes apart in many ways that if you look at the instructions, yeah, he basically is pulled apart and made it into different parts of the combiners. Um, you can even see on the bottom of his feet, here's the port. So th that's where I believe the legs are going to be attaching to. Uh, I'm not interested in having a Decepticon Justice Division combiner. I'm getting them all. So I'll combine them once just to say, hey, look, that's cool, but I don't think it's needed. I think they would have been better going just making the guys and having that be that. And he's definitely the first one to have suffered from that fact that they're wedging in the combiner feature. But I love the color scheme. Paint's great. Everything's good. Again, what I expect from Iron Factory. They didn't let me down. All right, I have not settled on a score yet, so I'm going to talk for a minute. I like his paint. I like the general color breakup, all the blues, the silver, the sort of beige, yellow, whatever that is. The silver, like there's there's a lot of paint on here. It looks really nice. Some of the, the articulation is a little stiff, but it all works. I similarly don't care about the combiner aspect. I don't know that he transformed in the comic, so I don't necessarily care that much about vehicle mode but it does not look like a good vehicle mode probably it was compromised because of the combiner aspect but i'm not sure what they could have done given his robot mode uh with a vehicle mode i, I think it still would have not looked that great given mmc's design as well so overall i think i'd give him i'm gonna say three and three quarter <laughs> okay you're so three and a half because i can't make it four, three, four. <laughs> I, I would like to give you credit for mentioning color breakup because like i say i notice it and i've noticed it before but until you put it into words i wouldn't have been able to explain that mm. that's just me and i do agree with you on the stiff joints but that, again i think that's because of the combiner thing they, they're making his legs tight oh that could be so if i was berg and allowed to be full on berg no full on I work. Would, I would give him a two out of five hammers. God, he hates everything. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but I, the reason I give him two out of five hammers is because, fuck this little piece of shit. Why the fuck do you like? I hate Legends <laughs> guys. Like, what a big fucking transformer. I under okay. I under. So he's while, four, while I while I understand that he's you're four, you're still rating the toy itself. The toy itself is yeah. four out of five. Okay, the fact that it's not <laughs> he, what you want. He makes is, it a two. He, he is <laughs> got one of the worst alt modes of all time. <laughs> the fact that they made a combiner is dumb as shit ever. Like, I don't get it. I don't know why. On his own, he is a four out of five. He is, everything is good. There's no real flaws other than his alt mode, and that's not his fault. That's just the design of the toy, and I don't think he was ever going to have a good alt mode. That being said... I fucking hate these little guys, man. <laughs> Fuck them. I, I get it. It's not your scale. It's not your it's, your choice of scale. Like, that doesn't shouldn't have a bearing on the rating. Like why sure, not? because if it's still a good toy, no matter the size. I don't know size, if it's a good toy. It's not a good toy because it's small. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I that's gave it. it a four out of five. Okay, fine. God, I hope someone buys it. If, oh. if he's half the height, he should get half the hammers. <laughs> You know, I, don't, I was told not to point out the paint flaws. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. He does of what he does. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Listen, let us know. if you're into this, fucking buy it. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, uh, better versions coming. That's debatable. Uh, how, how is that debatable? I can't. Uh, it's debatable because it's I haven't hand. seen it. I don't have it yet. I can say this is the best one out because it's the only one out. <laughs> I bet this is going to have better paint. Doubt I, it. I bet it had more paint. It might have more paint. It's not going to have better paint. Well, let us know what you think. Does the size of the toy make the toy better? I would say no. I've had a giant predator that sucks donkey dick. But most of us knew that before you bought it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Like, subscribe, <laughs> comment below. Thank you for watching. And, Buy the uh, fucking toy if you like it. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. Did you fuck a real doll that looked like your wife? No. If you weren't married to your wife? Did you make a real doll cry? <laughs> Is that where the story's going? <laughs> I mean... <laughs>